Hello everyone, this is Santa Rose, and we are back to the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. It's time to start working on getting my team up to snuff. Yonko's got some growing to do. No, not a hundred percent ready to be finding all these things on our lonesome, but she's almost there and it is glorious. No, I'm honestly going to be taking advantage of the fact that I'm working with my rival. I mean, as far as I know, I'm putting their stuff at risk. But uh, their stuff is not my concern. It's beautiful. All I have to worry about is keeping my Pokemon alive till the end of the battle. So, for the first time in a while, yeah, we are going to hit grinding episode 103. And now, there's only so much I can genuinely say about the basics of grinding. But, I can say a situation like this, like I was saying last time, where you're working with your rival and you have unlimited healing, especially in a Nuzlocke like this one where most of the time you've been trying to you know, get somewhere in terms of like your Pokemon's power and they keep dying on you. Ugh. Let me just reiterate how annoying that is. Because it merits that level of reiteration. I need to raise up Pokemon more than I would otherwise. Saint Elmo, yeah, should probably be about around around the level he's at. But the rest of them might be a little on the stronger end. Well, at least that's the idea. Aqua Jet the uh, Comet. It's in. Yep, it's got 30 protecting it, keeping it alive. Tackle. Yeah, St. Elmo can take it all. Oh, that thing must be pure rock if it's. You know, with that. Which means. Ooh, all those are strong. And it's actually super effective on the St. Elmo. Ooh, dropping his speed. Uh, hmm, actually I forget. Does this automatically retarget? Well, actually yeah, that, that got sorted out ages ago. Yeah, it automatically retargets. And uh, double battles were first introduced way back in the day. Hey, uh, if you attacked a uh, Pokemon and they weren't there, then, no, plain and simple, it missed. So, say you're in a double battle working with your rival, as you will. Oh, hey. Uh, smog... Come in. I'll take the chance. It's not very effective. There's confusion and chip fly. Bug bite's not gonna do. Okay, that did more than I thought it was gonna, not gonna lie. Ah, oh, Bianca. On chip fly. Roll out. Everything was fun and dandy till someone used roll out. Well, uh, no, you survived that game. You can survive one more hit. I really hope I get this right. I might use tackle. Ah, the Dunsparce is using the rollout. A critical hit is super effective. It's taking down the chub fly. Me and then. Alright, so the Dunsparce is the one with the rollout. It's the one I need to be worried about hardcore. Alright, good. Now all the firepower is going to be focused on... Oh wow. 
That, uh, Dunsparce is legit scaring me. Yeah. Yeah, no, rollout is a ridiculous move. Oh, Bianca and St. Elmo. Those are both mine. That means both you. All my rival's Pokemon are technically dead. All right, let's bring out Cade 6 for a minute. Uh, after what just happened, I don't... Wait, did that switch eat my turn? Shouldn't have, it should have been just part of it. The allies St. Elmo. The Elmo used Stomp. Spite, but it failed. Oh my goodness. My... My freaking rival is controlling my starter. I would have led with Aqua Jet, because guess what? Grozard is ground type. Which means there's more damage in it. Okay. Let's rock throw this done sparse. Well. Telling me plenty. There we go. Go to St. Elmo and Cade 6. Now oh, I need Surf to get across that. Ooh, hey, Rake Ball is always good. Alright, a uh, Tonami and a Dunsparce. My own Tonami isn't gonna be able to do much. Tonami is pure poison. Cade 6 has confusion. And, uh. <laughs> psychic type moves are super effective against poison. Those roll out. Those freaking roll out! Bye, Tonami. Six use confusion on the Dunsparce. Just roll out. Okay. It's going better, but I'm watching the health very, very carefully. Nine to thirteen. I would need to use a super potion at the very least to keep myself alive. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna do it, and that's mostly because of like higher resistances. Okay. Okay. So I was being a little confused about what confusion was targeting. I mean, because St. Elmo looked a little weird. But, yeah. Best I can tell. Hmm. Oh, double tonomy. That's actually not bad. It's still weird, you know, having my rival fighting with my Pokemon. I don't get what's going on there. Uh, well, Cade 6. Alcade 6 stepping in. Bianca's almost to the strength where I'd really trust her to fight. We're getting there. It's a slow process and it means other Pokemon get lots of boosts in the meantime. Well, in theory they don't grow as fast because they're stronger and they get less experience. Hmm, just how it is. Okay. Fusion, Tonami. No, uh, okay, so it did target the other Tonami. Uh, yeah, Lex just gonna do a little damage. 
because uh, I can only have one status effect at a time, buddy. Just one at a time. Yes, I know St. Elmo and Kate 6 are poisoned. No. Oh. Yeah, there's a very good chance. Yeah, so I'll do exactly what I want. And then... <coughs> yeah. See, the plan here is I let St. Elmo take it out. With Bianca actually in, Bianca will get even more experience. It's a glorious little, uh... Play. 50, 50, 50. Everyone got 50. Technically, Bianca should have gotten a little more. Alright. Uh, let's try out my button fighter. Alright, Aqua Jet. On the combat. Nice. Nomo, Bianca's attack mist. What was that? Oh no, supersonic. Okay, uh, this is risky now, but still fairly safe, if I'm honest. I'm not gonna use smog. Alright, it is a type that resists it. Alright, 62, 250. Or acid onto Bianca, that's not gonna do much. No, looks like we have a little splash damage. Alright, poor Tog. <laughs> Bianca's actually attacking, which is kinda crazy. I'm not used to it. But, she's finally at the point where she has the power to do that. It is wonderful. And, she for real just got her first kill. Good job, Bianca. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... Going much farther than that will break up the dream team. Already I kind of feel a little bad because I got hit my rival's team entirely killed. That, that part is kind of funny in its own little way, but still feel a little bad. <sighs> uh, yeah. uh, getting back to the initial thought of grinding out my mind, it's not something I particularly want to do, but I need to get everyone toward a particular level where they're on par with the average enemy that I'm encountering is wonderful. Bianca was well below that. Ew. And she's also pretty badly hurt. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna do a little paranoid switch. Make sure she stays alive. Bring out Cade 6, because it can take serious damage. That doesn't suppose is using rollout. Yeah, I didn't trust that. Yes, I'm actually running from fights. Then sparse are beginning to legit scare me. There's a weird thing, being scared of a little done sparse. Well, again, if you've really, really listened to like the stuff I've talked about in the past, you'll know a friend of mine actually built a done sparse team. And, and uh, the whole gimmick behind the done sparse was just lockdown. And so you couldn't do all that much to the Dunsparce. I got really, really lucky one time and managed to kill it. He wasn't too happy about that. It was seriously like the equivalent of, what was it? I needed like four, four coin flips. They all needed to be in my favor. And I got it. Come on! I got the dense bars already! The dense bars used rollout. Uh, uh. 
Oh. Alright, my, my panic has calmed. I'm no longer panicked. That was still... not great. Ah, yeah, I know it's a lot of running around in one area. But... It's doing my mom good and they're getting stronger. Notably stronger. Okay, Bianca is at a type disadvantage. Hmm. Uh, 8-6. Silky. Yeah, Silky actually ought to be okay here. Now, the Grozard is ground type, so it won't affect, you know, the enemies like that. Yeah, it won't be a huge threat to Silky thanks to her flying type. Huh. Okay, what you got? What you, what you got? Wow, it's well enough between me using them and forgetting their attacks. Alrighty, sand attack. Ooh, drop to the accuracy for Silky. Air cutter. All right, let's keep the air cutter going. Though that aqua jet's probably gonna take them out. Oh yeah, down they go. Okay. That looked like an area where there might be something hidden. No, no, you heard some. We both heard some. I'm just choosing to ignore it right now. Is uh Yeah. Uh, I don't see any reason to care. If I'm honest. I want my Pokemon growing. Huh. I'm going with Sturdy. It's now poisoned. Oh, nope. Smog killed it. Oh, nice. Bianca's 14. Growl. That's cute. Oh, Growl hit both of them. Not surprising. Smog. Uh, no, you ground type. Ground actually resists poison damage, if I remember right. Alrighty. Wait, is there a little... I think there was a little graphical glitch there. Alright. I call the tone of me. Come on. Go sturdy? You don't have sturdy. Come on, it is down. Huh. <laughs> Both attacking with tackle. Doing about equal. Yep. Yeah. Man. It's not very effective. Of course it's not very effective. That's a poison type. Where are you using a fighting type move on it? Thank you. Just favor the crap out of Aqua Jet. It'll kill most of the things here quickly, easily, and one shot them. What's wrong with one shotting? There's nothing wrong with one shotting. Just being a little agitated at this game. And my rifle controlling my dudes. I'm doing a crappy job of it. Crappy job is still crappy job. Come on. Might use tackle and mist. No, attack the ton of me. Yes, aqua jet for me. Must exit. Destroy the ton of me. Hmm. Well, I know I'm all got poisoned. It's not as big a deal as I normally make it out to be. Alrighty, come on, what you got for me? And Tonami is down! My Tonami grows stronger. Let's see, how are you even doing? How far are you? That's a ways. 
That's a fair ways. That's a good ways. That's... Wow. Yeah, there... Uh, you know... <sighs> I think minimal progression... And... That 20 minutes of grinding... That's all most people really need to see. It's not much point in me really showing more of this. I should take some time off record in this cave with this setup and just, you know, get everyone leveling good. Also, I should probably switch St. Elmo given he's level 22, everyone else is in their teens. Usually when you have discrepancies like that, you want to fix that. Now I want to get most of the team to 16 to 17. Yeah, that's a ways for Bianca. It's not as far for others. No, no, I don't, I don't want to leave with it. Oh. It's a little so good here. It's the hard part. And those Dunspars become a lot riskier. Alright. One battle with this new setup. A Roger and a Tonami. Okay. Uh, Bianca. Go ahead and use Smog. Target that thing. Right. I only get to control one of them. Poison oh, Sting. You know what? No. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna break up a good team. I break it up, and... Uh, yeah, I just had to let a high experience battle go. Because that was not an optimal setup. Alright. Okay, for real. This is the last fight of this episode. I'll do the rest on my own. Grand the team up get them to the areas, well, the levels I want them to, Just makes everything easier, smoother, and that's how it goes, it's just how it goes. Now, the better I can make it, the better it'll be. Alright, well, <clears throat> oh wait, no, can't sign out till the battle is done. Or very plainly about to wrap. But, you know, you know what's going on. So, yeah, this has been Doug, Side of Rose for Game Shampoo. As always, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Want to suggest a game for these Let's Plays? Come at me at Twitter, at Zidane Rose. So, now I'll see everyone Friday for more Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke goodness. Cheers!